are expecting possibly a wintry mix of weather uh, moving through the northern part of our area, but starting potentially, evening, yeah, potentially. So um, that being said, and the possibility that we could see snow and ice and sleet, whatever, um, what is TxDOT doing to prepare to get ready? So we wanted to be proactive. We work closely with the National Weather Service and we look at what we're, uh, that may be impacting the area. So we definitely wanted to move forward and see if we can treat some areas that may be impacted. And that's gonna be mostly on Montgomery County. Um, the Houston district is six, six counties and Montgomery County is included in that. So we wanted to treat some areas in Montgomery County and as well as our North Harris County area, west part of the county. What we're doing is we're uh, pouring a, it's a salt mix treatment with water uh, that will sit on the roadway. It's, it's to uh, prevent the roadway from icing over. So in case we have a wintry mix, then uh, we wanna be prepared for that in case that does impact our, our roads, particularly our bridges, our higher structures that may be impacted. Wanted to make sure we address those as early as possible so we can, in, in preparation of uh, the wintry weather. And what specific locations uh, are you going to be targeting and when can we expect crews to be out there uh, dispersing? So start starting this morning, we had crews at uh, SH-99. So it's like the Grand Parkway area 290, for example, on the west, the northwest side. And then on the west side, we also addressed uh, the SH-99, the Grand Parkway at I-10. So those interchanges, we address, those are some of our higher connector ramps. So we address those areas in addition to some of the main lane uh, overpasses in that vicinity. Uh, we did that most of the morning. Our crews have finished out there and we still have some operations going on in Montgomery County. So for instance, in the Conroe area, SH-105, um, Loop 336, we're addressing those areas. Not not the entire roadway, just the, the structures that we may, we've seen in the past where that they may ice over, even with that wintry weather, may not come this far south, but still it may impact those bridges. So we wanna be make, make sure we're, we're careful and treating those uh, ahead of time. So we're talking about bridges, overpasses, and elevated elevated roadways. Elevated Particularly the the connector ramps. Those are our higher higher structures. They're uh, I mean some of especially some of our our our, our higher connector ramps. I mean we have some that are that are that are uh, higher than others in other parts of the, the district. So we wanted to address those. Um, in addition, we also want to be prepared in case we need to help some of our. Uh, some of the areas further north of us. So like in the Bryan district, for instance, and some of the other districts that may need our assistance. So we've, in addition to treating the, the amount of roads that we've treated in the Houston district, we're also preparing equipment, making sure, making sure crews are prepared in case we need to be uh, um, deployed to other, other districts, other parts of the state. And in terms of this, this operation that you, that that's currently underway, can you give me a sense of, of what we're looking at in terms of equipment and manpower and, and crews that you have involved in this right now? Multiple vehicles. I can't get, I don't have the the exact number of crews. I can get that, certainly get that for you, but we've had uh, m multiple convoys. For instance, the one that worked on the west side and the northwest side, it was the same convoy. We had a, we also had law enforcement support. So we had multiple crews. We also had contractors helping us in that effort, uh, one of our great contractors was out there working to make sure we're covering a lot of ground in, in a short amount of time. What we want to do is do it safely, but also not impact traffic. So we wanted to go out there and make sure we get it done as quickly as possible and then go ahead and, and move on to the next area. And they've, they've done a great job at that. And I was just curious if we're not expecting this, this possibly, if we're not expecting this weather, possibly the wintry weather until you know sunday evening sunday night how come you guys are out there now doing this because if it, if it rains wouldn't all that stuff just kind of wash away off those that areas? that's a possibility but st that's this is a treatment so what we do is if we have to go back out there we can we can definitely go back out and, and pre-treat again but we want to be proactive and make sure we're, we, we've addressed these areas in case we do have wintry wintry weather but also at the same time we wanted to make sure that uh we're addressing those when when we have less traffic so it's going to be during the morning time we may have more traffic uh, as we move into the weekend so we want to make sure we have the crews available we have the contracts available so we want to make sure 
we, we made that happen. But we can also go out there if we need to, at, at, when we get closer to the event, we have an issue where some of the, some of the material does get washed out, but it, it, it's very good at sticking to the ground. So it takes a lot of rain to, to, uh, to remove it or to, um, uh, to impact the material that's being laid out there. But also if we do have any kind of wintry weather that does come in, we also go out there, we can treat roads with, with like a sand rock mix. Mm -hmm. So there's different tools that we have that we can work with to address uh, any safety concerns in those areas. We wanna make sure folks are you know, traveling, uh, that they're traveling those areas, that they're safe. But especially if we get we do get that wintry weather, that's when we'll start putting out the advisories and maybe it's not a good idea to be on the roadway. Yeah. It may not be safe, but we try to um, work ahead of time to make sure we're addressing those those uh, roadways before we get closer to the event. And, and again, what is the the, the treatment? The, what's it com comprised of? Composed. So of? it's mostly it's a it's a salt water mix. It's a it's a material that we put out there. It's a, it's called brine. Mm -hmm. So what we. We, we put that out there. So if the road does get, you know, there's any kind of precipitation that accumulates on the roadway, then it won't freeze. It will, it would, uh, you know, it prevents it from, from freezing over, icing over, but you know, it could potentially ice over. So that's when we go out there with additional treatment where we can put a rock sand mix and lay that at, at you know, closer to the event or during the event. So, so brine meaning like the, what the mixture you'd use to like brine a turkey? Uh, it's just a salt water mix. Yeah. It's a material. It's it's a uh, it's got a lot. It's got a a, a strong uh, salt content in it, so it prevents the roadway from from icing over. But I mean, there may be an instance where we have some issues, and that's where we have our 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 folks at Houston Trans start monitoring the roadways around the clock. So we do get an event that does come in. Uh, we're monitoring those roadways, seeing if there's any issues. But of course, when we get closer to that event, and we do have any, you know, we do have a situation where we do have ice on the roadways, and of course, we'll start putting out the advisories. And working with our partners in the media, working with our partners with the Weather Service, working with the, with Harris County, all the different county folks, the OEMs, to make sure we're pushing the message out for folks to to uh, stay off the roads. And, and and how is how is it how is the brine dispersed, and how long does it take to treat, you know, one particular area that you're folk that the crews are focused on? So this morning when they they went out about nine this morning they prepped. So it took them it took them about two or three hours to do. The, the entire, all the connector ramps. So they're having to spray those connector ramps and what they're doing. Sometimes if it's a connector ramp, or those are smaller, uh, they're, they're the lane, lanes that are on those ramps are smaller than say for the main lanes. So they may go a couple of times over the connector ramps, but at times depending on how many crew folks we have or how many folks we have on our crews, um, they may have to do several passes to get the work complete, but it's it's something that we try to do to to not impact the tr moving the moving traffic that's that's in the area. So that's why we use law enforcement, and we try to address one lane or two lanes at a time. Okay. Um, that's it for me. If you have any other final thoughts to add, well, if we do have any any inclement weather that comes into the area, well, even if it's rain, we do ask folks to slow down, uh, stay off the phones, not texting and driving, and of course wear your seat belts. It's really important. At your safety, uh, um, you know, to keep your safety in mind, but not just your safety, but also for the for your fellow motorists that are out there. We don't want to see any folks get into a situation where they, it's a it's a major a major crash. And of course, if there's ice on the roadway, you know, definitely look before you head out on you know on the roadway. So if on come Sunday evening or Sunday afternoon, make sure you're just paying attention to the advisories and not just get on the road, not just get up, get your keys, get into a car and head out, but check the advisories, see what's going on out there. And a great resource is HoustonTranStar.org. We, I mean, if any issues on the roadways, whether it's ice or even even high water, whatever the case may be, you'll find that at HoustonTranStar.org. We have a great team that works there. We also work closely with all our partnering agencies to make sure we're getting information out to the traveling public. All right, Danny, I appreciate your time. Good to see you, sir. As and always, nice to see and, you too. Uh, 